News for Jax first brought you the story of a Jacksonville woman desperate to see her husband who was fighting Alzheimer's disease in May. Today, we checked back with Mary Daniel. It's just really becoming tragic, and in fact, it's becoming cruel. Um, these patients are being separated, these residents are being separated and isolated to save their lives, but the isolation is going to kill them. There is absolutely no doubt about that. Mary's husband, Steve, lives in a memory care facility full-time, and since long-term care facilities are not accepting visitors because of the pandemic, it's led to heartache. Mary told us then she was willing to do whatever it takes to be with her husband. News for Jack's reporter, Brittany Muller, is happy to show us she's found a way to do just that. Mary and Steve Daniel only live five miles apart and hadn't seen each other for 114 days. That's until Mary took a part time job as a dishwasher at her husband's facility where he lives full time right behind me and the job. It's the real deal. The Daniels are finally able to hug each other. This after taking a job as a dishwasher. Mary says after she was hired, Rose Castle at Deerwood told her when she's finished with her shift, she's welcome to visit with the residents. What was his reaction? He saw me and he said, Mary, and, and we hugged. And um, just like I had thought it would be, um, just to hold him again after 114 days is just an amazing, an amazing feeling. Mary says she can already see the difference in her husband after four days. Steve has lost 10 pounds because of the anxiety. Before the pandemic, she saw her husband every single day. He has no understanding of what I have done to get in there. He doesn't get it. And so how do we describe it to him when we don't really understand what's going on? COVID-19 pandemic isolating those in long-term care facilities. Governor Ron DeSantis extending the ban of visitors another two months on top of the past four. But Mary says the threat of loneliness is a far greater danger. Dementia patients need contact. Their brain needs stimulation to keep alive. And when they don't have that stimulation, when they don't have physical touch, their brain just slowly is dying. The window visits were not enough. The pair have been married 24 years. Many people ask Mary, why doesn't she bring Steve home? I could bring him home, but he's back to being locked into a house being, and I have to work. I'm only 57 years old and I have to work to pay for his care. So I can't be here with them. So it's really a difficult decision. Isolating not only the residents and staff inside, but the families outside. Now that Mary is able to see her husband, Steve, she's fighting for others so they too can see their loved ones. She and others have a Facebook group called Caregivers for Compromise because isolation kills too. And she plans on presenting a statement to Governor Ron DeSantis on what's been working for other states in terms of long-term care facilities. Brittany Muller, Channel 4, The local station. Mary Daniel says she's used to advocating for patients. In addition to her new part-time job, she founded Claim Medic to help people with their medical bills. And with the $40 a week that she makes as a dishwasher, Daniel says that she is paying it forward and giving it back to the caregivers at her husband's facility so they know just how much they appreciate it. That is a beautiful story. Story of the day.